my 2019 was just the continuing of the 2018 disaster but it was a little better after all it wasn't all that bad this year my mind was so empty and just out of place that i was able to lose 41 pounds by doing a water fast for about 30 days i continued to struggle with pushing out content for you guys so it led to me losing a quite a bit of subscribers but then after a while i started gaining them and then losing them once again finally after just noticing that i lost all this weight i just really put it deep in my mind to you know start working out to get in shape while losing weight because you can lose weight but not be in shape if you understand my drift so i started working out outdoors every single day to try to get my mind on a better path of just being active I went up to uh, Atlanta and uh, well, spoke of reasons earlier in that year to get some content going. And I also, you know, linked up with him again uh, to get some skits going and stuff too. So it wasn't so bad, but it was, you know, it was still the continuing of this 2018 disaster. I tried becoming a better friend, a better family member, just an overall better person to everybody who I met or everybody that I've known. I also turned 27 years old. Yeah, 27. I know it doesn't look it, but yeah, I turned 27. <laughs> Back in November. Now for the good stuff. For those of y'all that may or may not know, my license, my driver's license was suspended uh, back in 2017, October. And I went to court earlier, um, well not earlier, but uh, last year, uh, December. And I got my driver's license uh, cost throughout, so that's a good yay. I also started back making YouTube videos back in summer of 2019. I just went ahead and just said, fuck it, let's just do it, you know what I'm saying? And I started dropping content outside, you know what I'm saying, every weekend and dropping them every Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. And I was on like a six-month streak. But I was still continuing to drop videos, but it wasn't as frequently how it was back when I jumped back to the game, you know what I'm saying? I also started back making cartoons as well. I was able to even get uh, cartoon content pushed out to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't know, I live with folks. It's hard to record voiceovers and stuff like that in somebody else's house. But I was able to do it, you know what I'm saying, at other places or other friends' house. And I got cartoons pushed out to you guys. I let go of a lot of pain this year. And I let go of a lot of stuff. And I was able to forgive and forget a lot of things. So now that is 2020. It's just time to get it. It's just time to work. And I'm starting off my 2020 in ATL, Georgia. That's right. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia for the next two, three weeks. While I'm up here, I will be able to get a lot of content done for you guys. So I just want you guys to be ready. Because I'm not going to play any more games this year. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. That's the goal. That is the goal. I need that civil play button. I must have that play button. It is my destiny to have that play button, but that's the goal, to continue this path that I'm on of becoming one of the biggest things on YouTube platform ever. Now, I will say this. I've been doing YouTube since 2011. I've been on a major journey of trying to become somebody, from making crazy, disrespectful-ass content to becoming like this mature guy that makes amazing content because I think I make awesome content but you know sometimes you get to a point where you feel like do I still want to do this and I do but the way YouTube has been running lately it's just hard to even focus it's hard to even do anything so with that being said if I don't make my goal this year quit YouTube.